Carrots, one of the world's most recognizable vegetables. Sweet, crunchy, and full of color, they appear in everything from soups and salads to juices and snacks. But behind every perfectly shaped carrot is a story of soil, seed, careful cultivation, and highly advanced technology. Today, we're exploring the complete journey of carrots from farm to table, revealing how millions are grown, harvested, washed, processed, and prepared for markets around the world. Before we begin, make sure to like, subscribe, and turn on notifications so you never miss our in-depth documentaries about how the world's favorite foods are produced. Carrots begin their journey long before planting. Because they are root vegetables, the soil they grow in determines their shape, size, and quality. To grow straight, smooth roots, farmers prepare soil that is deep, loose, and free of hard clumps. Carrots thrive in well-drained, sandy, or loamy soil that is soft enough for the root to push downward without resistance. Farmers loosen the soil deeply and break apart compacted layers that could bend or stunt the roots. Stones, sticks, and large soil clods are removed to create a fine, crumbly texture that allows the carrots to grow straight and uniform. Once the soil is properly loosened, it is shaped into raised beds. These raised rows improve drainage, increase oxygen flow, and give carrots room to develop properly. Whether done by hand or with machinery, the goal is always the same. A deep, fluffy bed of soil where carrots can grow at their best. Only after this careful soil preparation do farmers begin planting. Carrot seeds are extremely small, almost dust-like, so farmers sow them carefully and evenly into the soft beds. Precision matters. If they are planted too close together, the carrots compete and become thin and twisted, too far apart, and yields decrease. After planting, the seeds require consistent moisture. Germination takes between 10 and 20 days, during which the soil must stay cool and evenly moist. As the first green shoots appear, farmers thin the plants so each carrot has enough space to grow long and straight. Carrots grow best in cool conditions, typically between 15 and 21 degrees Celsius. Throughout the growing period, farmers maintain irrigation, control weeds, monitor nutrients, and protect the crop from pests. After 70 to 120 days, depending on the variety, the carrots reach full size and are ready for harvesting. Harvesting carrots on a large commercial scale is a highly advanced operation using specialized machinery designed to lift carrots from the earth while preserving their quality. Modern carrot harvesters are powerful, efficient machines capable of collecting tons of carrots per hour. First, the harvester moves along the rows and gently grips the carrot tops or crowns, depending on the model. This grip must be firm enough to pull the carrot out, yet gentle enough not to break it. A lifting belt then pulls the carrots upward, loosening them from the soil. Dirt is shaken off through a series of vibrating screens and cleaning bars built into the harvester. As the carrots travel upward through the machine, conveyor belts move them through multiple stages. Loose soil is removed, stones fall away, and excess leaves are separated. By the time they reach the top of the machine, the carrots are already partially cleaned. The cleaned carrots are then transferred into large bins or trailers pulled alongside the harvester. Some of the most advanced systems use auto-loading conveyors that fill each bin evenly without damaging the crop. These machines can harvest entire fields with remarkable speed, often completing what would take dozens of workers many days to do by hand. Their precision reduces waste, protects the delicate roots, and ensures consistent quality, 
a crucial requirement for global carrot supply chains. Once the carrots leave the field, they are transported to processing facilities where the next stage begins. The first step is destoning and washing. Carrots arrive covered in soil, so they enter a system designed to remove stones, mud and debris. Rotating drums, high-pressure water jets and gentle scrubbing machines work together to clean every surface without harming the carrot skin. After washing, the carrots move along processing lines where they are sorted by size, shape, and quality. Automated vision systems inspect each carrot, removing any that are cracked, broken, or irregular. As carrots move further along the line, modern plants use advanced robotic systems including PIP, Precision Intelligent Processing Technology. These AI-powered machines can identify the exact length of each carrot and automatically trim the ends with perfect accuracy. Depending on its size, each carrot may be cut into two or three uniform pieces. This level of precision ensures that every packaged carrot looks consistent, a requirement for supermarkets and international buyers. After trimming, the carrots pass through quality checks before heading to the packaging area, where they are dried, cooled, and packed into bags, boxes, or bulk shipments. These are the carrots most people find in grocery stores, but not all carrots end up as whole vegetables. A significant portion of the global carrot harvest goes into juice production. Carrot juice factories often follow a specialized process that begins with another round of cleaning. Carrots destined for juice must be exceptionally clean because the entire vegetable, including the outer layer, is processed. After intensive washing, the carrots are sorted again to remove any with imperfections. The selected carrots then move to a peeling section where industrial grade peelers gently remove the outer skin for better flavor and color. Next comes chopping. Heavy-duty cutters slice the carrots into small uniform pieces, making them easier to process. The chopped carrots are then passed into industrial mashers or grinding machines that turn them into a thick orange pulp. This pulp is heated to soften the fibers and release more juice. After heating, the mixture enters high-pressure extractors or centrifuges. These machines spin at extremely high speeds, separating the bright orange juice from the fibrous pulp. The pulp may later be used for animal feed, fertilizer, or dehydrated for other food products. The extracted juice is then filtered, cooled, and sometimes pasteurized to ensure safety and freshness. Finally, the juice is bottled, boxed, or packaged, depending on the brand, ready to be shipped worldwide. From a crunchy vegetable in the ground to a refreshing drink in a bottle, the carrot's journey expands far beyond the produce aisle. Every carrot that reaches your kitchen, whether whole, sliced, trimmed, juiced, or processed, represents months of preparation, careful growing, modern harvesting, and advanced processing. It is the result of global farming expertise and a remarkable combination of nature and technology. If you enjoyed this journey from carrot farm to table, don't forget to like, subscribe, and enable notifications. Your support helps us bring more documentaries about the foods that shape our world. Garlic, one of the most essential and beloved ingredients in kitchens around the world. From sizzling stir-fries to rich sauces and comforting soups, its unmistakable aroma can turn a simple dish into something extraordinary. But behind every clove of garlic lies a story. A story of farmers, fertile soil, and a global effort to bring this powerful little bulb from the earth to your table. 
Garlic isn't just food, it's a symbol of flavor, strength, and tradition. Cultivated for thousands of years, yet still harvested today with the same care and respect. In this video, we'll journey across continents to explore how farmers around the globe grow, harvest, and process garlic using a blend of ancient wisdom and modern innovation. From vast garlic farms in China and India to the high-tech operations of California and Spain, this is the story of how the world's favorite seasoning comes to life. Before we begin, don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring the bell icon to explore more incredible stories of how the foods we love are grown and harvested around the world. Garlic thrives in regions with cool winters and warm summers, where it can rest through the cold and burst into growth as the weather warms. The growing cycle begins in early autumn, when farmers carefully plant individual cloves, each one a tiny seed that will grow into a full bulb by the next season. In China, which produces over 70% of the world's garlic, endless fields stretch across provinces like Shandong and Henan. There, skilled farmers use both manual and mechanized planting techniques. Mechanical planters dig shallow furrows, drop cloves at precise intervals, and cover them with soil, ensuring each clove has the space and nutrients it needs to develop. Once planted, garlic needs patience. Over the winter months, the cloves quietly establish their roots underground, absorbing nutrients and storing energy. When spring arrives, the green shoots emerge like miniature spears of life. Farmers monitor them closely, adding organic compost and ensuring the soil remains well-drained and loose, as garlic hates standing water. In places like California's Central Valley, modern technology takes garlic farming to another level. Farmers use GPS-guided tractors for perfect planting lines and drip irrigation systems that deliver just the right amount of water directly to the roots. Advanced weather sensors track temperature and humidity, allowing growers to fine-tune irrigation and fertilization schedules for maximum yield. As the plants mature, garlic fields become a sea of vibrant green leaves swaying under the sun. Around early summer, the bulbs begin to form beneath the soil. Hard neck, you're going to see a stick right in the center. I see. So here you have cloves throughout, which mm -hmm. gives you a little bit more garlic. Clusters of cloves wrapped in papery layers that protect them from moisture and disease. Farmers know it's harvest time when the lower leaves start to yellow and dry out. That's nature's way of saying the bulbs are ready. In traditional farming regions, like India and Egypt, many farmers still rely on hand tools like spades or hoes to gently lift the bulbs from the earth. It's slow, delicate work, ensuring the bulbs remain unbruised and intact. But on large commercial farms, specialized garlic harvesters take center stage. These machines dig beneath the soil, loosen the bulbs, and lift them onto conveyor belts. The garlic is then shaken gently to remove excess dirt and laid in neat rows to dry. Watching the process from above, it's a breathtaking sight. Endless rows of white bulbs glistening under the sun. Drying, or curing, is one of the most important steps in garlic production. After harvesting, the bulbs are left to dry for two to three weeks either in the open field or in well-ventilated storage sheds. This process allows the outer skins to toughen and the flavor to deepen. Farmers often hang garlic in bunches or spread it out on racks, allowing air to circulate freely. In countries like Spain and France, curing is considered an art form, a tradition passed down through generations. 
the garlic develops its signature aroma and longevity, ensuring it can last for months in storage without losing its flavor. Once fully cured, the garlic heads are cleaned by removing excess roots and outer layers. Then comes sorting and grading. Machines equipped with optical sensors sort bulbs by size, color, and quality. Premium bulbs go to fresh markets, while smaller or irregular ones are destined for processing plants. In processing facilities, garlic takes on a new life here, machines separate cloves, peel them, and prepare them for a variety of products. Minced garlic, garlic powder, garlic paste, and even garlic oil. While the process looks mechanical, quality control is meticulous. Workers inspect every batch to ensure only clean, healthy cloves make it to packaging. The final step is packing. Fresh garlic bulbs are packed into mesh bags or cartons, while processed garlic is vacuum sealed or jarred for longer shelf life. From there, it's shipped across continents to supply restaurants, supermarkets, and homes around the world. What's fascinating is that in many rural areas, farmers still dry and collect garlic in open areas near their fields a centuries-old method that connects today's industry to its ancient roots. In contrast, large-scale farms use climate-controlled storage to maintain the perfect temperature and humidity, ensuring garlic stays fresh all year round. Garlic is more than a crop. It's a global connector. Whether it's roasted whole in Italian kitchens, crushed raw in Indian curries, or sautéed in Chinese stir-fries, Every clove carries the effort of farmers, the power of technology, and the history of human cultivation. Beyond its bold flavor, garlic is one of nature's most remarkable foods for health and wellness. Rich in allicin, a natural compound with antibacterial and anti-inflammatory properties, garlic has been used for centuries as both food and medicine. Studies show that regular garlic consumption can help reduce cholesterol, support heart health, and boost the immune system. It's also known to help regulate blood pressure and improve circulation. Garlic is packed with vitamin C, vitamin B6, manganese, and antioxidants, all of which protect the body from oxidative stress and strengthen the immune response. In many cultures, garlic is even believed to ward off illness and bring good luck. A small reminder that this humble bulb holds both cultural and medicinal power. So, when you add a clove of garlic to your meal, you're not just seasoning your food, you're nourishing your body with one of the world's oldest natural health boosters. Garlic may be small, but its journey is immense. From humble fields to gourmet tables, it remains one of the most extraordinary ingredients in human history. And that's the story of how the world grows, harvests, and processes garlic the golden heart of flavor that connects us all through food. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share it with your friends. It helps us keep bringing you more amazing stories about the foods that shape our world.